Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today we have another grocery discovery. But you better get your paper ready because I'm going to teach you what are the 12 most health promoting foods and one is totally my favorite that is going to help regeneration by regeneration it means help to regenerate your organs to give them the energy to thrive and survive and this is important you've heard the term stem cells well today i'm going to explain what stem cells are i'm going to share with you the 12 most stem cell producing foods this is better than any medication you could buy and we're going to look at two diet tips that you need to follow to keep the regeneration of your cells happening. And I'm going to share with you three avoids. Yes, avoid these three things that I'm going to share with you so that your body can not only just heal, but it can age more slowly because we all kind of might see that aging cropping up a little bit faster sometimes. Or also just to understand and to recognize how god designed our cells to be a reflection of his love for us and they were designed to heal just as he has come into our life to help us heal both spiritually and physically so before we go inside and check out all of the fabulous foods here at at tom leonard's let me just say please share and like and subscribe to these different channels that I am sharing this on because it matters to me that you are sharing this with those you love. Well, before we go inside, I just want to do a little primer on angiogenesis and stem cells. Angiogenesis is where you have a new blood vessel that grows to help a healing process or like in a tumor, it helps to give that, that tumor a blood supply line. Same thing happens when you have conception and the baby needs an umbilical cord. But in your heart, in your skin, all throughout your body, you have angiogenesis taking place. So it's about a new blood vessel growing and that's what helps us to heal. Stem cells are what helps our organs to actually be healthy and to thrive. Without stem cells, you're dead. <laughs> There's no way around it, you're just dead. So we need to know how to care for our body. We hear many things about antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, anti-angiogenesis, um, all of that, but it comes down to the stem cells is what actually creates that happening. So for some fun things about stem cells, from the moment of conception, by day five, you already had 100 stem cells in your embryonic tissue forming you into the baby that God knew you before you were even conceived. I mean, that's just really um, amazing. So stem cells, so let's do some of the, let's just go over the different systems. Stem cells, in your digestive system, your stem cells are what heal the microbiome within three to five days. I've shared with you in my other testimonies about how my husband healed the digestive tract within three days. He no longer needed the Prevacid. That's because of stem cell regeneration. This is what we're talking about, regeneration. So when you stop the medicines, when you stop the toxic foods, your body can heal and the stem cells can regenerate. So he hasn't needed that Prevacid since 2003. So that's quite a testimony. Next to that, we have our lungs and our stomach. Eight days for our lungs to totally heal the lining of the, of the lungs. That's how we heal from pneumonia and different chemicals that we breathe in. Smoking, you have to have a lot of stem cells to overcome the damage of smoking, either secondhand smoke or firsthand smoke. And then your skin, it takes two weeks to heal your skin. Have you ever noticed it takes almost two weeks, pretty much, for a scar to completely heal and to be done? That's because it takes that long for the stem cells to regenerate. Then we go on to our red blood cells. That's four months to replenish all of our red blood cells our fat cells. Now this is where I really got to hang up on. It takes eight years to regenerate our fat cells. They just seem to hang out there. You know, I wish they would die off, but they just seem to hang out there. And then we have our skeleton, our bones, and that takes 10 years to create the, the stem cell regeneration to keep replacing our bones. That means never stop eating those high calcium foods, never stop taking that calcium supplement because it takes 10 years to rebuild all of your bones through stem cells. So when we eat specific foods that I'm gonna share with you today, I'm gonna give you the top 12. What happens is it increases the number of stem cells and it increases the activity of the stem cells. And as we age, they get a little lazy. So we need to do everything we can to stimulate our stem cells. 
So let's say you have an injury, you have an infection, you need the stem cells to bring the healing to the infection. But let's say, okay, without the stem cells, you somehow live through the infection. Well, you now need the red blood cells for the clotting factor for that to stop bleeding so you don't bleed out. Well, let's just say you make it through those two processes. Well, then your skin, if you don't have stem cells, is just gonna slough off. It's just gonna disappear from wherever that injury was. So we need stem cells for every organ in our body, every system in our body to stay active and to stay performing well. That's why these foods are so important. Now remember, stay till the end. I'm gonna show you the three foods do not eat if you, unless you just wanna age quickly. Let's look at these 12 foods. Food number one is my total favorite food. It is chocolate. Not just any chocolate, but super, super dark chocolate. And you only need one little square per day. That is all you need. Food number two is fish oil. It is tuna and you want fresh tuna. You want wild caught tuna straight from the fishmonger at the grocery store. Food number three is whole wheat. It's not just the, it's not the bread that's in the store. It's not the bread that's in the restaurant. It is the bread that I teach you by milling your own wheat because then you get the fiber and the polyphenols, which is gonna reduce heart disease and it's gonna reduce diabetes because of the stem cell regeneration. Food number four is green beans, fresh or dried, you're going to benefit your stem cells. And number five is turmeric and ginger. These, you can grow these in your own garden and enjoy them, but having just a little sliver or a little a bit of shaving on this on your salads or in your smoothies would do wonders for your stem cell growth. Number six, it's gonna be our greens, collards, spinach, Swiss chard, kale, those also in their natural food, in their natural form, nice and fresh and raw, are going to greatly benefit your stem cells. Food number seven is blueberries. And I hope you are growing these in your yard or in your friend's yard and just picking them right off the bush and popping them in your mouth. That's what I call going out to lunch. Food number eight is extra virgin olive oil. And make sure you're buying a really good quality olive oil so that you're getting the benefit. Number nine is walnuts. Walnuts actually suppress cancer. So having a couple walnuts on top of your smoothie or your granola or your pancakes, whatever you're having for your dinner, have some walnuts on top, suppressing cancer because of the stem cells. Number 10 is purple potatoes. I hope you've seen my purple potato video that has posted on YouTube. It is packed with information why you need this. This is like the the king potato for health when it comes to every type of health process you can heal and it also helps to heal colon polyps and food number 11 is green tea be sure and watch my video i have a very long video about all of the health benefits of green tea and food number 12 is mangoes i've got a video out there on all the different types of mangoes and how they're some are better than others be sure and check that out and enjoy a mango on your salad tonight before i go on to the two diet tips that i want you to follow and just to apply every day have you visited biblicalnutritionacademy.com this is where we have all of our courses so that you can study and learn at your own pace god's recipe for excellent health we have a lot of great courses there we're adding more all the time please check it out at biblicalnutritionacademy.com. We get to actually increase our stem cells by what you eat and what you eat every day. So the kitchen is more important than the pharmacy as far as your longevity and how well you're going to live. Now let's talk about the two tips to eating. Number one is the Mediterranean diet. It has been proven for almost a century that it is the healthiest diet. We now even have the green Mediterranean diet. I've got a blog about that on my website, so go check that out but the Mediterranean diet has been proven over and over and over. It is the healthiest diet. And, and I just like it because it's Mediterranean and I'm all into Israel and everything around Israel and just always praying over that part of the world. But the Mediterranean diet is just very non-GMO for one. Animals have been raised in general, and so I'm generalizing this uh, in better manner. And most of the time when you're in Israel, you're not gonna be eating pork products and things like that, which is kind of the tradition that I follow. But Mediterranean diet has been proven to the, be the heart healthiest, the least producing of diabetes, and just the highest immunity system building diet, Mediterranean diet. Number two is fasting. 
Okay, fasting has incredible studies on it on how it regenerates your stem cells. So fasting, let's just say you have a stroke. Let's hope you don't have a stroke, but let's say someone has a stroke. For 48 hours of fasting, they have shown a 40% increase in healing over people who don't fast for 48 hours after a stroke. It's incredible how fasting actually stimulates stem cell growth and the healthy stem cells. So that's really important for us to understand. So those are the two diet topics that I wanted you to understand. Now, let's go into the three avoids. And I'm serious about this, so don't challenge me on this. Number one is, yes, you know what I'm going to say, it is high fast food, a fast food diet. We do not need a fast food diet. It actually inhibits regeneration of stem cells. Well, without stem cells, I've already told you, you're dead, <laughs> okay? And the quickest way to get there is down, driving down the road and pulling into all of those fast food restaurants. You don't need them. They taste good, but it's only for a moment, then your body's gonna complain for the next five to 10 hours. Do not go there, do not give in, do not turn your blinker on, stay straight, keep the blinder on whatever side of the road they're on and just avoid them. They're not fast and they're not healthy. Number two is sugar. Sugar, what sugar does is, so there's two types of stem cells. You have stem cells that help you as a person to have the regeneration to stay as young as possible. But there's also stem cells that, that focus on cancer cells. Cancer cells create their own stem cells. That's how they stay alive. Well, sugar feeds the stem cells of cancer cells. So if you're going to eat all those sugars, just realizing you are inhibiting your own regeneration of your youthful stem cells, and you're increasing the probability of feeding the cancer cells. So is that sugar really worth it? It's gonna cost you so much of your life in the future. And then last is a high salt diet. I'm not talking about regular salt because scripture has been very clear that salt is healthy for us. God created it for a reason to stimulate our taste and to stimulate the, the desire for others to understand who Christ is. It's a covenant representation. But when we overdo it and we use all that processed salt, it's not good for our cells. So high fast food diet, high, high sugar diet, and high salt diet. Yes. I probably stepped on a few toes with this one. But those are the three things we need to avoid, but only really if you wanna increase the regeneration of your stem cells and stay as young as possible for as long as possible. So it's totally your choice how you want to live your future. I just wanna thank you for letting me share with you these tips, these 12 foods, these two diet tips, and also the three avoids. It is always my pleasure and my honor to share with you God's recipe for excellent health. And don't you just love it like I do, that stem cells are so incredibly representative of God's love for us. He is always there to help us to regenerate that love that he has for us and to forgive us for anything we need forgiveness for. And remember, great is thy faithfulness and greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And that's more evident every day. Thanks for letting me share with you God's recipe for excellent health. I am Manette Reader from thebiblicalnutritionist.com and thank you.